What is the purpose of copyright? Copyright establishes the basic terms of use that apply automatically to an original work. Key words and concepts to remember for copyright. Protection of work granted by law, exclusive rights, the right to reproduce work, the right to distribute work, the right to prepare a derivative work, and sometimes the right to publicly perform or display the work. What is copyrightable? Works of original authorship, works that are unique and not a copy of someone else's work. Most of the time, works that are fixed in a tangible medium. Copyrightable works include literary, dramatic, musical and artistic works such as poetry, novels, movies, and songs, translations, adaptations, arrangements of music, alterations of literary and artistic works, and collections of literary and artistic works. Are there things that cannot be copyrighted? Yes, principles, commonly known information, ideas, procedures, processes, methods, slogans, and short phrases and expressions. How can I receive copyright? It's interesting. There's no need to register your work to become a copyright holder. It's automatic. Copyright exists the moment a work is fixed in a tangible medium. Do exemptions to copyright exist? Yes, exemptions and limitations to copyright exist in some countries, but not all. These limitations and exceptions are born in two ways. One, when copyright law allows specific activities, and two, when copyright law has flexible guidelines or flexible exceptions. Flexibility allows courts to determine what is allowed. In the U.S., we call these exceptions fair use. In some Commonwealth countries, they're called fair dealing. Education-specific exceptions and limitations have been developed in many parts of the world. The Berne Convention for Protection of Literary and Artistic Works concluded in 1886 and established the concept of fair use. The three-step test for fair use, as it was known, was developed during the convention and included the following criteria. It shall be a special case not in conflict with the normal exploitation of the work and will not unreasonably prejudice the legitimate interests of the author. The Berne Convention has since been revised and amended many times. In the U.S., a federal court judge would determine whether or not a copyright exception is allowed under fair use by weighing four factors. The purpose and character of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the portion taken, and the effect of the use upon the potential market. What does it really mean to say that something is in the public domain? It means that you can do almost anything with it, but it does depend on the scope and duration of the copyright protection in the particular country where the work is used. Works enter the public domain in four ways. One, the copyright expired for the work. Two, the copyright holder for the work failed to comply with the formalities to acquire or maintain their copyright. In most countries today, there are no formal requirements to acquire or renew copyright protection, but this was not always true, so works have entered the public domain in this way. Three, the work was never entitled to copyright protection in the first place. Examples of this would include official text of legislative, administrative, or legal nature and works created by government employees in some countries. And four, the creator dedicated the work to the public domain before copyright expired. Are there other methods that protect intellectual property? Copyright is just one type of intellectual property protection. Trademark law protects the public from being confused about the source of a good, service, or establishment, and they help the producers of these things protect their reputation. Patent law grants property rights to an invention. They give inventors the right to exclude others from making, using, or selling their invention. 